Check it out, it's Black and the Dancer right now, and what I want you to do is follow the hype with Bogey on WickedHype.com. Boom. Hello you guys, this is Jake Garabogi. I'm here with no other than Black and the Dancer. What do I mean? What's up? How are you? I'm yeah. good. And yourself? I'm good. I'm tired, but I'm happy. Listen, you just <laughs> march on the place, y'all. Your dance class just turn up. Just let the people there know how you started off choreography and the whole dancing thing. Well, um, I started choreography because I've been dancing now for 11 years in Brooklyn. But I started teaching dance classes five years ago. Um, I used to work with an artist, and it was Madeline, and one of the dancers, um, her name was Samantha. She asked me one day in rehearsal, she saw me busting a few dance steps. I was actually working with um, Kelly Bling from Black Bling and Walter Boots from Brooklyn, and we were all dancing for the artist. And she asked me to come into the dance team in FIT in New York and teach them a dance hall class. I actually have that footage on my YouTube, but it's bad. It was like five years ago. But that's how I started teaching classes, and since then, I've been teaching consistently for the past five years. And, um, New York City and around the world. Um, do you ever get that you're getting big off of somebody else's dance? So like, if you go to a party and you start doing with Siba, Siba, you know what I mean? Yeah. They're like, oh, but that's Ding Dong Dance, and I get big money, Ding Dong Dance, or whatever um, it is. I've had, I mean, of course, when you move forward in life, you have the little people that want to wanna say something because you're not putting money in their pocket either. Last year, I remember somebody wrote on my Facebook page before I deleted my personal page. I don't have any time for that anymore. <laughs> but um, they wrote, you know, we're doing all of these dancers dancing while you know them on tour with them. What a lot of people don't understand about this industry is that I'm happy for the organizer to pay for my plane ticket. You know, I can't tell an organizer just drop three or four more thousand dollars and bring more dancers. You know, like I'm. If I was a selfish person, I'd travel around and I'd only teach my dancers. I'd create 50 sets and travel and teach it. So I'm traveling and I'm teaching other people's dance steps and I'm getting a lot of them known and booked in Europe, you know, and it's more of people don't recognize that if I'm teaching your stuff, I'm telling your dance crew your name and I'm telling these organizers to book you and, you know, it's, I've, so I've, I've gotten that but a lot of people don't look beyond the actual action, they don't look at the reaction of it. Yeah. Okay. So how do you end up on BTO or uh, underrated team. <laughs> like a lot of dancers, they stay within like their borough or state. Yeah. But you're branching off. How did you get the experience of doing like BTO or as an underrated team stuff like that? Um, well, over the years, uh, when you build a certain stature of reliability within the industry, then people start to book you for things. And uh, I just really, to leave the party scene, I just gave it a try, you know. like. A lot of people can do it, but a lot of people are unsure of where it's going to take them. And of course, like you know my story. You know, many of you know my story. Like I was working a regular nine to five, like everybody else in the union, and I just quit that job one day with not a dollar to my name. And I just started working and touring for myself. So really and truly, I can't place it on one person. You know, I just I just place it on faith, and I place it in hard work. I place it in being genuine to the people that you meet. And I'm a strong believer in you treat everybody that you meet with. Uh, with happiness and passion and love, and from there you just let life take them. It's amazing. Well, let the people know, because you know, we are sport girls, we are you know, right. just let the people that know, oh, them can't get a shirt, a hat, a party, or what is that? Well, I have my dance up right now because I'm working really hard to do something really positive with what I know and what I love, so I started my own clothing line two years ago. And it's called Dancer Brand. And I have, of course, my dancer hats. You see my gold dancing snapbacks and 
the dance of booty shorts out my, my ladies in Russia and Siberia with working in there for all this big up yourself up. You can just search Black Eyed Dancer anywhere online, so Black Eyed the, the Eye Dancer, and hit me up and I'll make sure you get a pair anywhere around the world. So what makes you so cute? Because you were just performing at Rural Hall, you're doing at the Brooklyn Museum, you're in the papers. How so come you so cute? I mean, I, don't, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say that, that I'm wicked, I just say that I love what I do, and when you love what you do, you do it passionately, so I just, I'm just happy if people enjoy and love seeing me love what I do, so um, I just go with my heart, my dance, how I've grown up dancing on my life. But anyways, keep it locked up behind, follow the hype movie, I'm locked up the dancer. Cool.